Hey guys, so today's episode of Uglier Fashion is all about the Hawaiian shirt. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Slounge. I'm George, this is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's fashion, lifestyle, and everything in between. And today's episode of Uglier Fashion, we are tackling the Hawaiian shirt. So guys, the other episodes of Uglier Fashion were things that we actually found ugly. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna say we are actually fans of the Hawaiian shirt, but it did get a bad rep for a long time and it's just kind of starting to make a true comeback where people are starting to really pull it off and make it look stylish. So this video is gonna look a little different than the previous ones because we actually like and wear the trend. So you know, there are companies making super, super stylish shirts and I think the key is that the fit got better, the fabric got better and you know, the patterns got a little less crazy but still colorful and interesting. And now the places that you can actually find Hawaiian shirts aren't just like a Hawaiian themed store or a vacation store. Like Tommy Bahama before was the only place where you can get a Hawaiian shirt, you know? My dad still goes there, so anyways. But now ASOS, there's H&M. So all these large department stores, high-end stores are making Hawaiian shirts and they're making it with a better silhouette. So they're more fitted. So today, for instance, I'm wearing a shirt by Anya. This is a, I guess, a swimmer brand. So they do mostly trunks and t-shirts, but the colors are more vibrant. They're, uh, they're not just that regular blue red or like that ugly black one that they used to make you know well i think it was the it was the patterns that were always weird because they always like had like flowers and surfboards and like yes. tiger like really like the, really beach boys are like with with like people uh and this is kind of bad they had like a hawaiian girl dancing on the shirt like yeah guys like you don't need that usually on some nice flowers maybe a little bit of print that's it first of all it was the fit of the shirt that made it the worst part about it yeah. so like Old traditional Hawaiian shirts were baggy, boxy, like wide as hell. And I get it if you're at the beach and you just want to leave it open and have some swim trunks on, like that works for a vacation. But you know, people are taking the vacation vibe of the shirt and bringing it to you know the city, the streets. And like we wear these on a regular basis out in LA, not to the beach or near the sand or Bro, near water. Today, I'm, 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 this, this is my look all day. So like. It's not just for the beach, it's not just for vacation. Maybe a lot of you guys don't like it, it's because you're so used to that old Hawaiian appeal and that vacation vibe, but maybe you should give it a go, right? Or you might be like landlocked, and I completely understand to get into the Hawaiian shirt vibe, you kind of need to experience it near some water. I would say that's the best way to ease into it. You know, take it on vacation, get one wear it a bunch because one, there's a ton of people that don't know who you are and don't know that's not your real style. And you can just, you know, try it out, see if it works for you and you're up by a beach so it doesn't look weird at all. So before we wrap up the video, I think there's a few things to note about the Hawaiian shirt and when you're trying to style it fashionably. So, you know, you really wanna make sure the fit is on point. We beat this to death, but <laughs> make sure it, the shirt fits, make sure it's kind of a slim silhouette and then you want to pair it with, you know, some dark denim or a nice, you know, short and, you know, an interesting cooler sneaker. Yes. Because if you fall into the gap of, you know, shorts that are a little too long, a little too wide, some, you know, dad loafers or boat shoes or something, you're going to like look edge. You're going to edge on the side of what made this trend ugly in the first place. Yes. So be careful when you do that, guys. And we'll link to a ton of. Hawaiian shirts that we like down below. You guys can check them out. Yes. When you guys do rock the Hawaiian shirt, please forget the puka shells. Like, don't do that kind of look. No pukas? No, bro. I mean, if you can rock it with a chain, rock it with a chain. If you could go with chainless, do it. But just stay away from the puka shells because that is going to make you look stereotypical and like a tourist, I think. I don't think anyone's worn puka shells. Hey, bro, shells you never know, life. dude. I just seen a guy. But granted, he was Pukas are coming back. Oh, dude, let's just, okay, finish the video, dude. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. We love this trend, so it is fashionable to us. If you think it's ugly or fashion, comment down below, let us know. We will be doing a video on how to style Hawaiian shirts, so stay tuned for that. Hit that little bell icon so you get freaking notified. And uh, if you have not hit that subscribe button yet, do that right now. Like us on Instagram, at Jen's Lounge, and leave us a comment over there. Cheers, Cheers. guys.